Hey, what's up, boys? Welcome back to more Warhammer 3. We're playing as Albrecht of Borderlow, the heir of Atlantis. We are uh, stuck currently in the Marshes of Madness. Kevin Lorder says a pirate murderer. Yeah, the plan is to push through here, get rid of uh, Corn and I guess the Beastmen now too, apparently. Uh, because we are at war with them as well. But I, I I named the episode originally Pirate Hunter because uh, after we're done with Corn and the Beastmen, we're going to come out here and eradicate the pirates. And then I don't know what we're going to what's going on over here. It looks like Beastmen as well. But I changed the name of the thumbnail because I don't know how much steam I'm going to have for the episode. So I don't know. This might turn to, turn out to be a a shorter episode uh, just because it's uh, just uh, five after midnight uh, my time I just finished a shittacular shift at work um, yeah I don't know it wasn't that bad I mean but anyway yeah just uh, <laughs> yeah I haven't had a lot of fun at work earlier today so I don't know how long we're gonna go for but at least a couple of hours and we'll see how how much uh, we get done Within that time, but I renamed it Marshes of Madness because we're um, currently vacationing out here with uh, with Albrecht. So he's going to push through some of this and so hopefully avoid the Skaven for the time being. I don't want to get I don't want to get in dragged into war with them. Um, and then over here in Illustria, the whole campaign. The goal is to establish a a. Uh, coastal power sort of like a uh, so we've got uh, we've got our coastal regions over here we've got a coastal regions over here we did have a little bit of an issue with the lizardmen which uh, has to be tidied up a, a little bit as well we can probably get peace with them but the only thing is um, it shall be so my strength and wisdom are yours yeah, I, I don't necessarily want them on our doorstep. I, we can... What we could do is... Go build a force and go north and and fight the lizards. But I really don't want to do that. So I, I'm kind of hoping... I'm thinking... Probably defeat this army and then peace out with them. Or defeat this army and then scoop one of their settlements and then peace out with them. I, I'm not entirely sure... How this is gonna go but uh these blokes were supposed to prevent them from coming down here they did not do their job welcome brothers big freaking surprise so, these guys don't want to trade with us uh what's the situation with hexawato mm. kevin lorder <laughs> says are there any multiplayer streams on the agenda this weekend i don't think so so i told the boys that probably my weekend is gonna like I probably would have been able to squeeze it in tomorrow before work as I work later but like typically on Saturdays I'm usually expecting to get called in early and I think one of the guys Chakanaka um said he was gonna be busy this weekend and then Anisius has some stuff going on so I, I don't think Anisius is gonna be available for a little while so we might not see Anisius for a couple of weeks but uh, the plan is to try and get a couple of um, couple of streams in next week. Like my, my schedule is fairly light next week, actually. Um, and I, I've got the next weekend off, or at least right now I do. Um, I, I don't know. My work likes to call last, especially on Saturdays, likes to call at like two in the afternoon. Can you come in? in the, can you come in tonight? So I, I don't know. And I always feel guilty not coming in i don't know why but um yeah it's a peace treaty there almost kevin says okay to easy cheers yeah so hopefully hopefully we'll get maybe two episodes in uh it was unfortunate because uh wednesday i was off from work and uh comrade and uh comrade and john were uh we're messaging in the the discord oh why don't we continue the campaign uh that we started on tuesday and i freaking i was awol on 
on Wednesday. I don't know what was wrong with me, but I just wanted to sleep all day long. It's so fucking pathetic, man. Um, so I didn't even, I didn't even check in until like late in the evening on on the Discord and and realized that uh, they were up to continue. But that uh, probably would have been a shorter session. But regardless, I effed up. We could we could have got a little bit more in. But yeah, the the multiplayer streams have been really popular after the fact like usually they get quite a few views uh there seems to be uh people who are looking for that sort of content so i'm gonna try my best to do a little bit more of them um but you know at the same time though the only thing is like i don't want to um you know i don't want to monopolize the schedule of all the boys right like it's one thing for me to stream all the time or whatever or stream uh quite a bit but um you know to expect my crew to uh set aside their 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 regular schedules in life it's you know i don't want to don't even want to monopolize their time but thinking about doing some potentially doing some head-to-heads uh maybe doing like i know like i've got another buddy Who's always asking for a head to heads uh, commander Audette. And um, I never, you know, like usually, whenever you ask me, I'm usually like doing something. And I'm like, fuck, you know, I feel bad because I always say no. But he's really, really good at the game. He usually dusts me every time we play. But uh, I, I'd like to do some head to heads. And then uh, there's also the possibility to do some some random like head to head multiplayer stuff. Borg Cube 100 says, I'm really terrible with calves, so Bretonia is my least favorite total warp faction. Hey, if you aren't feeling great, then don't feel bad. Ironically, your health is more important, my guy. Do you have any personal favorite mods? Uh, you know what? I haven't really dived... I, I'm trying to think if I've... Uh, I don't think I've tried any of the mods for Warhammer 3 yet, to be perfectly honest. I... I, I haven't played a ton of the base game. I, I mean, I played a little bit here and there. I, I mean, I've played a fair bit now, but I mean, I've sort of like played it, put it aside for a while, come back to it, you know, a couple of times. And so um, I'm still sort of like, there's still a lot of factions that haven't even played in vanilla uh, is basically what I'm trying to get at. Mm -hmm. Um we build this, uh, we get a garrison of Grail Knights, or we could build this, and we get, like, an actual garrison. But, uh... But, yeah, uh, Borg Cube, I, I'm not great with, um, Cav either, but, uh, luckily, Warhammer 3, the Cav has been beefed up a little bit, and, like, once you get to the top-tier Cav... Like, when you get uh, access to the Grail Knights, the Grail Knights are really good. And uh, the Grail... Isn't there, like, Grail Guardians as well? Do the Grail Guardians... Oh, son of a bitch, Grail Guardians. The Grail Guardians actually are excellent. Excellent cav. Um, they've got 8,400 hit points, and there's... Only 32 of them, which means the hit points are spread around more of the units. So you, you can use the healing spells uh, quite a bit with them. But uh, when you get the uh, these bad boys, the Royal Hippogriff Knights, these guys are freaking nuts. And relatively cheap in comparison to other Cav. Uh, or other, you know, top tier units. Uh, but you do have to get the Grail, like the the, the, the vows done on the... On the uh, on the lords otherwise they're super expensive or cube says lol i get it sfo is a good icebreaker for mods if every faction is broken then none are and borg says uh cav are hard yeah i mean like when you get these guys the hippogriff knights and even the same kind of thing with the uh uh grail guardians you just like want to keep them moving and just keep them charging into units basically and they just fucking destroy everything uh they're so good and, and just you know occasionally drop some heals on them and they do really really well but yeah i struggle with uh some of the lower tier cap at times uh, and typically end up running around doing a whole lot of nothing 
Morn, how are you, big guys? Is howdy. And Shibbel says, hey, guys, how's everyone doing? Shibble, what's cracking, man? What time is it? Uh, Shibble's up. Man, Shibble, do you sleep at all, ever? <laughs> That's my question to you. Oh, uh, my God. It doesn't matter what hour I'm streaming. Shibble always pops in to say hello. Poor bastard works like uh, nonstop. Works nonstop. He's a family man, and uh, he's studying in school as well. So, um, my goodness. What a beast. All right. Uh, Night to Popeye. Do we want to attack this army right now, or do we want to wait the turn to recover? The thing is... Uh, we might really struggle against this in the current shape that we're in, uh, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we kind of need a little bit more cav, I think. Um, what's this guy? Oh, somebody's got the... Uh, Do you know who I am? Who's got the vow? Grail vow, grail vow. Uh, okay, so Popeye should actually have those knights. Um, let's actually merge up some of these, uh, yes. some of these boys. My strength and wisdom are yours. Blessings of the lady be upon Kevin Lord says, hey guys, and Westy says, I'm glad it's the weekend. Yeah, I, <laughs> I typically end up working on the weekends. So like the weekends are kind of like, you know, <laughs> for me, it's not. Not all all sunshine and rainbows, but no. next weekend I'm off, though. Or at least, hopefully. Let's hope. Uh, unless I get called into work. Uh, Shibble says, it's 6 a.m. Oh, the tears. Borg cubes. by the way, I haven't uh, been able to catch a lot of stuff, uh, but I've always seen how much you put out. Uh, your grind is strong and needs to be seen. Ah, Borg cube. thanks a lot, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know. I go through phases uh, with the channel where, like, you know, like, I'll occasionally disappear for a little while, for, uh, but then I'll come back and, and, and put in some uh, some more effort or whatever. I gotta, I just gotta be more consistent and just, like, get off my ass and, 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 uh, maybe we can take these guys now. I don't know, what do you think, guys? This, uh... Yeah. I mean, we've got a lot of heroes and stuff, but there's yeah, they're kind of beat up. All right, which magic? And we don't have very much winds of magic either. All right, you know we'll we'll just sit tight first for a turn over here. But board cube, I appreciate that. SFO, I've heard nothing but good things about SFO to be honest. Um, yeah. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. So maybe uh, one of these days, give it a try. Night to pickle. Uh, bollocks, we should be. Oh, uh, all right, we'll merge up a couple more of the, uh, the archers. Uh, just so we can get a couple more knights. Alright, and we can disband... Uh, well, I guess we don't need to disband you, but anyway. We didn't need to merge so much stuff, but... Um, I'd like to get two more knights. Just because we're gonna need something to hold the line. Um, especially with these salamanders. And the cold ones with spears. They do have some fast units as well. Um... And then I'm thinking, let's just drop... Oh, whoops. Wrong guy. Let's just drop the heroes in this army for now. Take them out in a second, but... Um, just that way they'll get a little bit more replenishment during the end turn. And then... Can you guys... My strength and wisdom are yours. 75. Let's do, uh, let's do this with the other guys so that we're getting some our winds of magic up a little bit. 
Sport Cube says, live in Ireland, so it's a uh, proper St. Paddy's Day here. Oh, man, happy St. Paddy's Day, brother. Don't take uh, St. Paddy's Day. So uh, St. Paddy's Day, is it like a weekend-long uh, celebration for you, man? Because, uh, like, St. Paddy's Day is the 17th, right? Uh, that's freaking awesome, man. I would love to go to Ireland for uh, St. Patrick's Day. That would be freaking proper, man. Uh, Shibble says, nice, man. Uh, so I'm guessing you're going to get a drunk like crazy today at Pork. <laughs> Pork says, the whole weekend, lots of uni work done, laughing man. So, and Westy says, I'm playing the Old World campaign mod, and it's really good. Whoever made it must have put a lot of work in. Ah, uh, you know what? I've heard excellent things about the Old yes. World old world mod as well like i i saw there were uh quite a few content creators that, covering it there for a little while uh so that's another good one yeah war cube says be careful raggy the range stuff is very hard with total war warhammer if you can hold the line with chaff you'd win yeah i um i like to try and hold the line with it's a little bit unconventional but i like to hold the line with my uh my knights and and heroes and stuff so um it'll be a little bit of a struggle here but i think we'll be able to manage but we'll we'll figure it out we'll see how she goes Jibble says, sounds like a great weekend, although I don't really know how much you'll remember from it. <laughs> and Borg says, sorry, but yeah, SFO is great, uh, but it's 100% more tabletop balance. And Borg says, huh, oh, no, uh, not really, but it just happens to fall on a long weekend. Yeah, you know what, that's that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Yeah, no, St. Patrick's Day is usually a pretty big deal here in Toronto. Um... Usually, like, I unfortunately, I'm a freaking uh, stuck working. Uh, but I, I'll probably very likely go out for a couple of beers afterwards. Uh, probably be the plan. Uh, we'll just drop this down for now. Uh, I just built this for the... Um, for the growth. Though, I guess we could... I was going to say we could build the tap room. If we had the money. Uh, because the additional control helps with... Ah, uh, fuck it. We'll just build the just build the farm. Just for the coin. Alright. The Marshes of Madness. Uh, so the... Actually, you know... Actually, you know what? Hang on, we'll come back to that because we're gonna sell some of this territory here. Guardian of Bretonia. <sighs> what uh uh bollocks. Noble. We're not in great shape either. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. As if it wasn't enough that we were dealing with corn over here. But yeah, in our present state, I don't think it's a good idea that we try and take on this plus the garrison. So we'll just move towards there. Uh, um, go in ambush. Fuck, look how bad the replenishment is. Uh, all right, let's just sit here for a turn. Unfortunately, we split up the army. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, la, la. Look at this. Look at this. Albert has his bow done, right? He does. He does. He does. All right, let's... Uh, let's merge some of these. My Protector of the and... Ah, oh, sh shit. Uh... We're two allegiance sh points short of getting two of them. That's fucking annoying. That's so fucking annoying. Ah! Um... Uh, 
Alright, fuck. Well. Get a Grail Knight. It's not quite the same thing as a Hippogriff, but we don't wanna we don't wanna wait for too long. We might as okay, we'll we'll grab a we'll grab a Grail Knight as well. Ah, Shizer. Board Cube says, fun fact, one of the largest Irish movements out, outside Ireland came out of Canada into Ireland. But yeah, uh, Cav Low Model stops a lot of friendly fire. Uh, Borg says, and provide good and fast distractions. And it says, at Chabal, you're meant to remember weekends. <laughs> Borg Cube into the U.S. for the fun fact story. Ah, that's pretty fucking cool, man. I didn't know that. All right, well, hold on to this for now. And uh, Greed Knight's up here looking around that army doesn't look too dangerous but um what's it? oh there he is scarbrand oh shit okay no he's on force march Fuck. we're not gonna have these guys by the time he gets down here chaos cheers ugh ugh Ugh. My reputation precedes me. Um, fucking hell. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? I don't think uh, this is gonna be tenable. This situation here. Ah, uh, bollocks! Did I use up all my fucking movement? My strength and wisdom are yours. What can we get from the global? Two turns. Well, shit kind of um in a not great situation here i think what we're gonna do uh, i wish i hadn't moved the opposite way come around this way this guy has got enough movement so all right so i'm gonna kernick you are welcome here friend what business do you have Certainly. All right, poor Rapunz. She, <laughs> we're dumping all this shit territory on her. All right, that means we can build this here now. Uh, just because the public order, uh, the higher public order is, the higher, uh, the quicker growth is, and we want to get this grown as quickly as possible in order to get the Vault of Nagash going. Wesley, <laughs> Wesley says, "Left my ass off." Borg Cube says, "Can you get points from uh, talking to them, like packs?" I think it just, I, I'm not actually sure exactly how it works. That's a good question. Why don't we investigate? Because we've got this built here. Um. Is it time? War coordination, set orders, attack tar target, allegiance, 60. Yeah, so right, allegiance indicates how much support this ally is willing to give you against your shared enemies. It slowly increases over time and can be increased by completing missions. Ah. Uh, this option is only available when your ally is an AI that has requested help. You'll only receive requests. You had at least one shared enemy. So we have a passive income of two. And then if we get um, if we get a mission, then we can um, we can gain more points. But yeah, we can't um, we can't uh, I don't want to sit there because actually look at the replenishment when we traded it to her. All of a sudden, our replenishment went up. That's interesting. In allied territory. Yeah, we'll give it to her, and then we'll, we'll come back around this way and meet link up with the army. We'll come around this way for now um, and see if we can catch up to those armies. Just avoid, avoid him. I kind of wish I didn't merge those units now. But uh, we could, at some point, we want to get those hippogriffs. In fact, I've got an idea. 
I've got an idea. Uh, Knight to Moose, you sit here and. Uh, fuck. Do you know who I am? Alright. Uh, we'll get one of those, and then we can get another one next turn. So then, hopefully, by the time he gets around over here, um, Albert can pick those up. And then these two armies can keep moving over this way. I have seen your heart, which is going to take a while. Oh, this river is going to slow us down. Bitterstone mine. Yeah, we're going to be stuck in these fucking shit territories for a while, unfortunately. Westy says, I've been listening to the Witcher audiobooks and they're fantastic. Oh man, you know what? I would... I'm going to have to read the Witcher books. I think... I'm trying to think if I have one here somewhere. Like, ah, man, my freaking... I've got, like... I've got a lot of books. And, like, right now, they're all, like, basically... All boxed up because I'm... I've been on the move the last uh, couple of years. And I am planning to move again to Nova Scotia. I mean, not for a while, but I just... I. I don't have the energy to unbox them and then rebox them again. So, um, I mean, everything is labeled. It would take me a little bit of digging. Not to mention, I've already started. So, my family is Nova Scotia in Nova Scotia. So, that's why I'm planning to move there to stay with family. But I've already moved some of my books to Nova Scotia. The last trip I went down, um, I took some of them. So, there's a possibility that the books could be uh, already in Nova Scotia. But, yeah, the the Witcher, I enjoyed the show for what it was on, on Netflix, but, yeah, it, um, I think it was very disappointing for a lot of people, especially for the, probably the people who have read the books. Um, I, I think I'll, I'll probably dislike the show quite a bit more after um, after I get into the books, but I would love to read those. Um... There we go. Has it proficiency? Though we have met I think. Noble. Hmm. My reputation. My. Uh... All right. We'll switch it back over. I think. Yeah, she's supposed to have the army under her command. Uh, we might as well... Ah, oh, fuck, two turns. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, the spot is available because, uh, the Green Knight. Or says, oh, ah, so it has to take time. FFS, uh, still fun. Didn't think CA would be brought, uh, would have brought that mechanic in. Is there a way to get XP for your knight, uh, before going too far? Uh, the... Um, these guys, the, like the, uh, the unit ranks, I think they gain it a little bit passively and then they gain a little bit each battle and then they gain experience for like every kill that they get. Uh, there's like a, there's a bunch of things and then some of your heroes can also increase experience as well. Unit experience gain is increased by an additional 30%. So I think there's like a few different ways why, how they can gain experience. But the um, the knights we're going to recruit, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can get experience on them before we recruit them, unfortunately. It would be kind of nice. Uh, Borg says, most Warhammer auto books are on YouTube. You might get them here. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to take a look. Uh, it says, if you don't mind asking, how far away is the move? Uh, so, from Toronto to Nova Scotia, it's about uh, eight... I think it's like 1,800 kilometers. Um, and my plan is to move uh, a year from now. I'm just in a little bit of a situation here right now that I, 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 I can leave. 
but I, I should probably wait. Like I, yeah. Anyway, I, I'm I'm waiting for the situation to sort of um, work itself out, and uh, after that, that's done. So I'm thinking probably in the summer of 2025 is when I'm uh, I'm gonna make the move. Or Cube says Henry Cavill was great as the Witcher. I don't hate Hemsworth, but it was the wrong decision to release Cavill because he was too annoying over the lore. And it says, poor Cube says, sorry for the spam. Hello, oh, drunk, so really talkative, laugh mess. Ah, don't worry, man. Uh, I appreciate the chatter. Um, it helps liven up the stream quite a bit because otherwise, like, I'm just here mumbling to myself. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, it's, uh, I appreciate it. And as uh, Andrea, you're bringing up some interesting stuff, so it's all good. Zoo says, hey, everyone, Zoo, welcome to the stream. Shibble says, uh, you also have the heroes. Uh, who can train your units, but it's usually not that profitable. Yeah. Borg says, holy hell, that's like the whole of Ireland move. Hope it works out. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's just, um, yeah, I'm just, you know, I, I'm pretty much ready to go. Like, if I, if I, I had to move, like, tomorrow, well, I could probably, within 48 hours, I could probably, you know, have everything packed up and ready to go. Uh, to be perfectly honest. Um, but, um, yeah, there's a number of things that need to be sorted out before uh, before the move. And uh, this is something that's been in the works for quite a while. So, And I've moved so many times over the last number of years that I got it down to like a, somewhat of a science, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty organized. Uh, pretty organized person in general and like um, yeah everything will be packed up and nice and neat and tidy and should be should be really efficient I hope anyway okay I think we can end the turn um, is there anywhere else we can build marshes of madness we don't want to build there all right But yeah, Canada, Canada's freaking huge, man. What the shit? All right, well, um, very interesting. Good thing we didn't attack them because uh, we we uh, wouldn't have had the garrison. Not that the garrison is gonna provide us much help, but hopefully it'll be enough. All right, uh, here we go, lizards. Um, yeah, they got a fair bit of fast units. This is gonna be a bit painful. I would have really liked to have gotten those additional units, um, and it would have been nice if they attacked the like one of the armies had like seventy-five winds of magic. This guy's only got thirty. Jibble says, are you thinking about using a moving company or are you going to get some cheap labor like family or friends? It'll be uh, definitely cheap labor. I can't afford a moving company. Too expensive. <laughs> but I, yeah, I I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to go about it yet because like renting a, a, renting a truck and taking it cross country is freaking expensive as hell. So I might, there's like... Um, the, uh, one of the movie companies offers, like, a, um, um, offers, like, a, sorry, I don't know, I don't know what the word I'm looking for, um, but basically, like, they'll deliver, uh, to your house, like a like a not a crate but like almost like a small sort of uh box car that like goes on a train like it's essentially they'll move it by freight and so they'll they'll deliver the um just like a like a small freight uh uh car to your house and then you Fill it up, 
and then they pick it up and send it on the train and they will deliver it to the address for you and and that to me um i think like uh, like my calculations it seemed like it was cheaper than um seemed like it was cheaper than renting a truck or potentially anyway so i i mean probably what i'll do like i'll probably go to no like be visiting nova scotia a couple of times before then so there'll be like a few things you know to try and take a few things in between like there'll probably be a couple of trips that we drive down and so i'll probably try and take uh some of the stuff but and, and then like some of the bigger stuff uh probably gonna leave behind like my bed and, and things like that are probably about time to get like a new bed and mattress and all that stuff so anyway uh board cube says uh use your heroes to gather as much lizzie's as you can for your archers i'm hoping to move from belfast ireland to liverpool england literally 30 minutes away by plane but it scares me uh uh so fair play to you that's that's a big move, man, from Ireland to England. Um, you know, it's going to be a different... Uh, I don't know, though. I guess, you know, very very similar cultures, but Liverpool... I, I don't know. How big is Liverpool in comparison to Belfast? I'm actually going to move you guys over here uh, so you can be out in the open. I don't want you in the trees. I'm going to... Though... Um, uh, Borg says, uh, it's for uni, uh, but, uh, wrap everything, and if you can, get insurance on expensive stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that, well, like, hopefully, like, the expensive stuff, like, the, um, the important stuff will be, um, will be moved, um, a little bit more, like, won't be moved by freight, and, and will be moved more, um, um, because, I mean, I'm going to have to go down there myself as well. I, my friend was telling me um, that I should either buy or rent, like, one of those, uh, like, trailers. And um, just one of, one of those small trailers that you can pull with a car. Uh, which might be an option as well. I don't know. I mean, getting a little bit closer to the um, to the move, I'll, I'll explore as many, uh, as many options as possible. And just try and pick the best one. Uh, Shibble says, so it should be cheaper than a normal transport company because they use a train instead of moving stuff with a moving truck. Yeah, just, like, for whatever reason, the truck, like, the, the problem with the moving truck is that most, most of the rental, uh, companies will charge a flat rate and, uh, or sorry, not, they won't charge a flat rate. They'll charge you by the kilometer, um which really adds up and, and the other thing is like i was having trouble initially when i was researching it i was having trouble finding one like normally you rent a truck like a u-haul or something you put you rent it at a location and then you can leave it at another location uh whereas i was having trouble finding one that would allow for for that to be the case um so there's a possibility that if I rent the truck, it might have to come back to Toronto, uh, which will double the amount of kilometers on it. I, I don't know if that's... I, I'm sure there's got to be other options, but when I was looking into it, I, I was having trouble finding finding locations in Nova Scotia because Nova Scotia is very small in comparison to Toronto, so uh, there's not as many of these, uh, these locations for these things. Um, so... Uh, Borg Cube says, just be careful. Your first move should always be uh, what you can't live without. Then bring what you can in forthcoming trips. Yeah, sorry for the spam again. Technically, it's the same a UK uh, country. North of Ireland is UK run, but Liverpool has a history. It's more queer, refugee, left-wing friendly than most places. Uh, it's fun. All right. Okay. I got to focus on the battle here for a bit, guys, and try and see if we can get organized. So... Um, okay, this is not going to help. You guys, get out front. You guys, go for them. Uh, 
fucking hell. I guess pull back. Fucking artillery. Stay back there. Uh, guys, come back and help out over here. Guys, pull back and let's drop some heals in here. And uh, actually, save it for the heals. You guys move back. And you guys move up and help out. See if we can focus on them. How are we doing over here? Alright. See if we can focus on them. Ah, oh, fuck, get back here. Where are you guys going? You guys come over this way. Get to them. Um, actually, keep you guys together. And come over here and drop a heal. How's our, uh, how's our boy up here? Yeah, this would have been a little bit more manageable if... Uh, we um, got to start with the army on the field. Like the, the trouble is, like the maps are so damn small in this that armies are usually like right on top of you. Um, before um, you even have a chance to fucking get set up, especially with reinforcements coming on. Looking super good moment. Alright, you guys need to split up a bit. You guys need to shoot at them. Fall back. Fall back. Uh, and we need to keep... so a lot depends on whether we can hold here. Um, I mean, worst case scenario, we might just do a strategic withdrawal here and then try and fight them again. Shoot at them. How are we looking? All right, everybody get lined up into some form of formation here. You guys, get out here and oh no no no, charge them. Guys, back up. And let's go with the heels. One of those, those are the cold ones with spears. Yeah, this is a, a fucking mess. Get this out of the way. Cav in there. Get in there too. I think we're doing okay ish. Uh. The trouble is, I don't know how long this uh, this is going to hold here. I'm really having a hard time with those cold ones. I'll turn around and shoot there. Let's turn back around and shoot in there. But the heroes are holding for now. Alright, you guys. Alright, get into position. We need to try and shoot into their flanks. Ooh. Of those chameleon skinks. Alright, the cold ones are running. It's just a matter of whether or not this blob here is gonna hold. Alright, you guys I need to shoot at them. Back it up. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, shit. They came back. We're not doing terrible, but I don't think it's going to be enough, to be perfectly honest. We're out of magic. I don't know. These guys are all bunched up. Can you shoot into that? And... Alright, you keep shooting at them. So that, oh, they're shattered. So, get into position there, and you guys shoot into that... And then just see if you guys can spread out a little bit. Alright, good, good. Good, good. Oh, we got him. Fuck, man, what a mess. What a freaking mess. 
Yeah, just uh, try and get some, try and get some kills here, boys. Shibble says, "Really? So they really screw you over there? Here, you only pay for the amount of cargo you transfer." Yeah, I don't know, man. Like freaking Canadians are suckers. Like I, I, I don't know. I'll have to find the right company or whatever. But yeah, like I, I don't know. It just the business practices over here are just freaking ruthless. And Canadian or Canadians are so sheep like that nobody fucking does anything about it. Uh, Borg says there was a lot, uh, Shibo, but after the war, Belfast is great. Uh, where are you from? Uh, Ragnarok Total War. Can you rent a van to drive to and back yourself so, uh, to save money? Um, so yeah, that that's the uh, that's the uh, that's one of the options. Yeah, uh, but again, usually the the like with the trucks, they charge you by the kilometer, um, so oh, it adds up. <laughs> And Shibble says, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a lot going on there, but maybe something related to the battles of the English Civil War or the War of the Roses. And Borg says, Shibble, very possibly, but most of the history uh, taught is recent history, so I'll give it a look. Uh, the War of Roses is an interesting topic. And he says, Ragnarok mages uh, seem to attract attention. If you can send them in front of your entire army with the cab behind it, it will uh, prompt the AI to attack them, and you can count uh, with your cab. Oh. Uh, Shibble says, yes, a very interesting topic. I've been awake uh, for almost 26 straight, so I'm mostly talking nonsense. Oh, my gosh, 26 hours straight, man. That's, that's a lot. Borg says, uh, nonsense is always best. <laughs> and Borg says, sorry, Reggie. No, it's all good, boys. All good. History of Belfast. Yeah, you know what? It's interesting. I was uh, listening to a podcast last night. I just I like to put podcasts on as I sort of go to sleep. So um, I don't know how much I actually absorb because you usually end up falling asleep to it. But I was listening to a podcast of um, uh, so we lost our Knights of the Realm, but we are recruiting new ones. And we'll get some We'll recruit some more after that as well. Oh man, our paladin here almost went down. I think our paladins need names, actually, maybe. But yeah, I was listening to a podcast of the uh, Viking Wars in uh, in Ireland. It was quite interesting. Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Tic a tac toe. But yeah, War of the Roses, obviously, later in, uh, quite a bit later in history. A few hundred years. But yeah, the Viking... Because, like, you, like, you hear a lot, there's a lot of documentaries and TV shows and stuff depicting the Viking invasion of Welcome England uh, but there's Let's not a lot of um, there's not a lot of uh, shows that depict the Viking uh, the Viking history in Ireland it's just kind of like usually like an aside Book of Asher Big Booty Latina has gained her mount. <laughs> that one's for more. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, I'm guessing Frinray Baron uh, finished them off there. Are they? Fuck. They're not. Uh, they're not interested in peace as of yet. Do we have military? We do have military access. Kevin says I'm off rag. Got a few errands to run. All right, Kevin, have a uh, have a good one, brother. Uh, thanks for popping in. Say hello, um, and uh, yeah, enjoy uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, right, pickle. I will just give him just a card for now. Borg says Viking wars were interesting. Irish slavers uh, were bad too, but the Irish developed a very strong sword against Viking defenses. Uh, Ireland was the place, not conquered. Yeah, exactly. 
Exactly. And Shibble says, yes, history is an interesting subject. We've had a lot of crazy things happen in our past, although it mostly boils down to humans killing each other. Yeah, yeah. And then, well, that's the history that we're, that we remember anyway, the his, and the history that we're taught. But I think, um, you know, if we go back to the history before all of that, uh, Paladin de Shibble. And this, okay, this is Paladin de Morn. How many characters does Morn have? What the hell? And this is the big booty Latina. Earth blood and life bloom. And. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Alright, Popeye. Uh. I think we are gonna have to take some territory from them in order to get peace. So Hi. let's go ahead and do that. Guardian. Um, protector of the realm. Protector yes. of the realm. Alright, go into uh, magic stance. My strength and wisdom are yours. Very and then well. Transfer these guys over. <laughs> um, Blessings of the lady uh, we could probably get rid of this one. We'll Lord, be okay without it. Protector of the realm. realm. Alright, you, sir, uh, just move a little bit ahead. Uh, just to make sure we have enough movement to make the attack there. My strength and wisdom are yours. Taking my lead. And then you move up to there. I must keep my holy vow. No. Blessings I must keep my here. holy vow. It does sound like a word. Borg says no, because Ireland was supermen. Just what happened? Big booty gaining her mount is great. <laughs> and Borg says that Shabal pretty much lol to be uh, tbh. Uh, a lot of what most uh, think history is wrong. Uh, we worked together and loved each other a lot more than hated. Yeah, you know, like it's um. Yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. Not to be that guy, but most wars were for the rich and powerful to become more rich and more powerful. The average Joe just suffered more. Yeah, you know what? And I think that's... Uh, I think that's... A good way of depicting the... Uh, you know, in the, even the wars of the, the 20th century and now the wars of the 21st century is that... It's uh, typically the rich and powerful who are... Um, who are pushing these things on and you know most common folk uh just want to um want to live peacefully and prosperously and uh most most ordinary folk get along for the most part uh so we unfortunately did not get any replenishment there because uh looks like this got bombed by somebody and who's this? That's Mentash. Mentash! Um, okay. You stand there. It's getting replenishment, okay. Alright, he's two turns away. Lord of Bretonia! Lord of Bretonia. Ah, bollocks, 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 bollocks. I have seen your heart. I have seen your heart. Blessings of the lady. This is the shits. Um, I. Where is Scarbrand? We're gonna keep an eye on him. Yeah, there he is. All right, I think it's probably in our best interest to get our armies. Um... Oh shit! We can recruit another one. I think it's probably in our best interest to get our armies united here. 
Because we have some... If Scarbrand comes over this way... Uh, it's probably going to take more than one army to deal with this shit. I mean, Albrick, when he gets his Hippogriffs, can probably deal with that. Uh, it's still going to be a handful. There's some nasty stuff in this. But if we have the two armies together, uh, it should be a lot more manageable and we can kind of reduce the casualties. But yeah, fuck, we're going to be stuck in this fucking shithole for god knows how long here. I really didn't want to come over here to fight these guys, but at the same time, I didn't want, I didn't want to leave Scarbrand roaming around through here. So I do kind of want to get rid of them. I want to purge the land of him, but now we're becoming neighbors with the freaking rats as well, but. Protector of the realm. Protector of the realm. Okay. Um... I think I'm going to save this money so that we can upgrade this next turn. I think we'll just leave that. And we're just building, building upgrades. That's fine. Outpost available. That's fine. Who are we allied with? Oh, you know what? It wouldn't be a bad idea to ally up with uh, with these boys. Or build an outpost in Talison. That's not a bad idea. Uh, Shibel says, indeed, humans have murdered each other a lot throughout history. But on the hand, uh, other hand, there were also quite a few cultures or cases where people did not kill each other and lived relatively in peace with each other. Bum, bum. Borg says, Westy enjoying the stream. Westy says, yeah, I've never joined one, but I enjoy it. And Westy says, Corn is so fun to play as. I've never played Corn. I um, I was tempted to do a Corn campaign, but do it a little bit differently than normal. But yeah, just I find some of the Corn units just seem really goofy to me. But I like they're demons, though. So I guess, you know, I can kind of let it slide, but just... They don't really, um, they don't really Ready. turn me on, necessarily. Um, In these dark times, yes. they don't get me going. Um, Ready. but I was thinking about doing a corn campaign and, and sort of like a specialized, uh, corn campaign where I only use, uh, particular units. And I don't like Scarbrand at all. Uh, so... Ready. I was thinking of playing as Gorn, but not using Scarbrand, because I fucking... What an ugly mother freaking, uh... Plus two, I, I had a bad experience with Gorn when, when Warhammer... Warhammer 3 first came out, uh, playing as Kislev. It was not, uh, not a lot of fun. Uh, so I've got to... I hold grudges in these games. Oh, my goodness. Are these guys at war with them? Stand. They're not at war. How the fuck did they end up with this? They must have, they must have gotten a peace treaty. They must have went to war and gotten a peace treaty, because they've taken. Uh, that's only level two. That's going up to level four. All right, we can wait to get put the outpost in, but it might not be a bad idea to build some outposts there. All right, just end the turn. Shibble says that Wesley Nagash is just a crazy guy who likes to build triangular buildings. <laughs> and Borg Cube says that Shibble exactly, exactly will sometimes non-conflict from the strong is wrong. A lot of wars just produce more wars in the future. Raggy, can you take like two turns to return and recruit? <laughs> um, yeah, we could. Uh, Wesley says, make war, not love. <laughs> Borg says, uh, exactly. And he says, cornflakes are important. Yeah, I, I've got to do a corn campaign at some time. But like I said, I'll, I'll probably do my own spin on it. But yeah, just like a lot of the units just seem really goofy to me. And uh, I'm not a big fan of demons. So even in a video game, I'm like, uh, I don't know. Uh, Gotrick and Felix have shown up. Westy says, uh, I just like the fact that Corn is at war with everyone and has no settlements. 
Well, I mean, they do have... Oh, shit. Oh, fuck that. How the fuck did they get that back? Lord of Bretonia. What the fuck? How did they get that back? Didn't we... Didn't we give that to her? What in the blue blazes is going on here? Uh, should be able to reach there next turn. That's, uh... That's freaking weird. Because they, they do get settlements from... Like, settlements that are abandoned. They can end up uh, occupying them. God, man, corn is, this is, this is not a good situation. Um, this is not a good situation at all. I thought we had, I swear we took this previously. And I don't know how they got it back. Because uh, we took it and we gave it to Repulse. And then, oh my gosh, there's just all kinds of freaking nasty shit out here. Alright, well, we can't, uh, we can't leave this behind us. So you're gonna have to come over here and take this. And it's... Oh, what's the... What's the garrison like? That's just a small garrison. Probably gonna have to manually resolve it, though, because... We're in just such shit territory, we can't afford to, um... Can't afford to take any unnecessary casualties because our replenishment is so damn slow. I uh, should have enough movement to get there next turn. Uh, we lost track of Scarbrand. This guy is hanging out. But yeah, the movement here is just so shite. And we've only got two army... Well... Yeah, basically two armies that we're operating with. Not getting replenishment. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah. What's uh? Our winds of magic is good. My strength and wisdom are yours. This is gonna cost a small fortune when these guys get recruited. And yeah, we lost track of Scarbrand. Um, we're just gonna wait here for, for, uh, for Albrecht to catch up, but we, we can't leave Death Gorge here in behind. Shibble says that, Wesley, if you like this way of playing, I recommend playing a campaign with the Beastmen. And Wesley says, ah, they have settlements. Sorry, I just meant they don't really need them. Skaven is my favorite to play as, but it's also everyone else's favorite. LOL. Skaven, I've only ever played once. And, uh... Oh my god, look at Zinch freaking go. Are you, uh, are you at war with Zinch? Sure you will be soon. But yeah, Skaven is, uh, one of the factions that I <laughs> don't play. Um, I play all the boring factions, guys. <laughs> um, Borg says, Skaven are fun. Used to, uh, to constantly play TT against them with my high elves. Uh, can you do ambush stance? Uh, we could go into ambush stance here. Um, but we're going to suffer attrition if we do. So we're just kind of... Actually, let's stand on this side of the settlement. We're just chilling out here. Waiting for Albrecht to finish up what he's doing. But yeah, this is... Um, My lady calls. Came over here to eradicate corn, and I don't know... Uh, it's just going to take freaking forever. I'm half tempted to just say F it and just head for the coast and back to Bretonia. Um, and let Raponce deal with this because our territory is over here. Like my objective in this campaign, like I normally in campaigns, I just want to conquer as much territory as possible. But in this campaign, um, it, as you know, we're playing the playing sort of like a themed era of Atlantis campaign. I just wanted to create like a coastal empire, 
So we've got our coastal uh, territory here. We've got a coastal territory here. We're friendly with our neighbors for the most part. So we don't have to worry about getting attacked necessarily. Oh, you got to be shitting me. These guys came down here and took this from the freaking lizards. You got to be shitting me. And now peace is even more. Oh, God, what a freaking nuisance. Do you know who I am? Yeah, I know who you are. But yeah, the objective was to create a coastal empire, head back to Bretonia, and then come over here to Uthwan. But I didn't want to... We, we've got like a bit of a buffer here. Um, but I didn't want to leave Corn out here. So I kind of went on a crusade into the Badlands. And into the Marshes of Madness. And now we're kind of fucking bogged down out here. Um, which is not what I want. Um... Yeah. So, I don't know. All right. Well, bollocks. How much? How big is that army? The thing is, we've got to get over. Though the thing is, like, if we take the monument of Itza, I or. Is that all? I don't think it's really... Like, what I was going to do was I was going to trade Temple of Kara with the Lizardmen in exchange for a peace treaty. But... Now we can't do that because we won't... Like, if we capture this, we won't be able to trade that to them. And taking a minor settlement from the Lizardmen, I don't think is going to make much of a difference. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should we march up to fight the Lizards? I mean, I guess let's. We might as well take it from them, though. Oh my god. We gotta go this way because we don't have. Um, yeah, we can get non aggression, so let's do that. Ah, oh, shit. Got us military access, too. Damn it. We could have went that way. I should have checked first. That's my bad. Just, I get click happy sometimes, but yeah. We might as well get the Lizardmen out of this area. Out. And then probably go back to just minding our own business down here and just continue the continue the crusade in the Badlands. <laughs> Wesley says, Hi elves are just straight up broken in campaign, lol. I free I know. They're so good. Um they've got Everything you could ever want in a campaign, like for campaign mechanics. Um, yeah, they're just so freaking good. All right, well, I think um, should be certain. We'll probably put in uh, walls there. We don't really need these generals sitting around, but they do gain experience slowly, passively, so. And, Do you know yeah. Who I am? I'm just gonna keep them around for the hell of it. Anyway, this... Lord. Is the shits. Um... We'll build the pox shelter... Just to see if we can get some replenishment in this region. We are gonna sell this to our allies. Eventually, but... <laughs> Shivel says, yes, you can't help but have fun with the big rats <laughs> with <laughs> MG. Uh, Westy says, sounds like heresy from a lesser race, uh, to be honest. <laughs> um, and Borg says, do it, you are a lance, be a lance. And Westy says, hammer and anvil is still the best tactic in general. It's, uh, you know, like the... It's good to see the game a little bit better balanced because, like, Warhammer 2, there there were a lot of ways. I mean, there's still a lot of ways to cheese uh, the game and cheese the battles. But I feel like more units are more useful. Like, cavalry seemed really under power in 
Warhammer 2. You tempt my wrath. You tempt my wrath. All right, I'm taking the Death Gorge. Yeah, the thing is, like, uh, it's an easy auto resolve, but. Uh, I don't know. I, I think we can probably do a better job with manual resolve. Um, we might even be able to just cap the town centers or whatever. Though, I don't know. I mean, these, you don't want to underestimate. Like, all of these units can be a bitch to deal with. So maybe the auto resolve would have been fine. The thing is, if we can isolate units, we can probably pick them off and. Not to mention Albrecht should be able to do quite a bit of damage to some of them. Borg says, in Total War Warhammer 2, uh, if you chose a um, pile faction, you won for sure, just not in multiplayer. Yeah. Uh, Wesley says, Legend of Total War made a lot of videos about the million ways you could cheese Warhammer 2. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I'll just park you guys here for now. And, I don't know, should we just pick on them with Albrecht? And, uh... <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> Blood letters of corn and chaos warriors of corn. Alright, well, you start working on the doors, and... You bothered them. And let's send these guys over here. And we'll keep some over here. We might go. Let's send. Let's send a few, a few of you over to that tower over there. Actually, wait, no, 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 don't. Just, just stay where you are for now. Uh, sugar and spice. How much damage is taken? They, uh, I was not expecting them to, uh, sally out there. How much wins? Oh, we got heaps of wins. See if we can draw these guys over to, over to them. Mm, we should be using this shit. Just keep an eye on, check that every once in a while. Um, all right. Just go through these doors. Back over here. They. Where did they go? The fuck? What the? Where did they go? Did they go. Did they run back in? Surely they didn't have enough time to run back in there. But anyway, these two are gonna do most of the work here. So we got heaps of magic. Let's we'll keep these guys healed. Drop one of those there. It's... What happened to the unit that came? I'm sure, there's no way that they could have. It's weird. I don't know. That unit was chasing us, and then... Oh, uh, there's a few of them back there. Oh! Okay, it was one of... Okay, that's why. I'm like... 
The AI never sallies out of these fucking things. So I was like, what's going on? It's one of their stupid, freaking retarded, fancy, freaking special spells. And it they, they run out eventually. Blood letters. Or, or sorry, Borg Cube says, if you don't get the get to charge the blood, thirst, uh, blood letters, they will do a lot of damage. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, the corn units are freaking strong. You never want to underestimate corn. They can uh, be a real pain in the ass. That unit, yeah, or looks like they went in there. This guy's healed. How are we doing here, boys? Are we through the door yet? Oh, shit. I don't know if I want to actually come in here now. Fuck, there's a lot of them. Why is there so many of them? Alright, um... Let's start... Going through the doors over here. Over your triangle formation. Two. Let's go take them out. Cowboy, what are you doing? What in the f furry fuck are you doing? There we go. What the hell? Oh, for fuck's sake. These idiots. I'm trying to get through this with uh, minimal casualties, so... I don't really want to get the cavalry involved in fights. Where did... Uh, oh, there he is. All by himself. Get over there and help out. All right. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, he's taking a little bit of damage. Almost through the gates here. Yes, Warhounds. Wesley says, Cavalry and Warhammer 3 have brain rot now for some reason. I don't know what happened to their pathing. Yeah, I, pathing has never been... Um, done super well in the Total War games. And some of these settlements and stuff are, are pretty convoluted. Um, with the paths and stuff that they can take. Um, actually, you guys come around this way. Don't want to leave you in there for too much longer until you get some help. Let me get through the doors here. Get our uh, mage over there to help out. Alright, let's come up this way. Barricade. Oh, it's a trap. Well, shit, I don't want to go over a trap. <laughs> the trap is labeled. <laughs> it's not such a good trap in that case. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, you know. Very cleverly dis disguised. Named trap. Um... The cavalry take a while to get through, like, barricades and, uh, towers and stuff now as well. Yeah, taking damage I don't want to take. Uh, you might as well 
drop a heal here on yourself. Alright, let's come over here and I think that's gonna be pretty much it. I don't know... What are you guys doing? Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we get healed up in the meantime. With haste, or are we actually through? Oh no. That's where we've won the battle, which means we've taken the fortress, but yet the gates are not under our control. What's that all about? Wesley says if a portion of your calf lags behind, the whole unit starts to lose its will to live and slows down. Yeah, I mean, this it's weird too how, like, uh, the other thing is like in a like in a battle or something right like if you like you're maneuvering with your cav and then there's like a unit of infantry here and if the if the infantry catches like the two units on the on the edge then like the whole unit will stop and turn around it's like <laughs> that's so weird um thought we were fast forwarding Uh, how the fuck did you lose so many dudes? What the hell? What the hell? So I wasn't paying attention there. I don't know how this guy took so many casualties, but anyway. <sighs> yeah, I wasn't expecting to have to turn around and retake this settlement. Maybe Rapon sold it to them. I don't know. Maybe that's what happened. Wesley says, I did a playthrough as the Empire and forgot how utterly broken Vlad von Karstein is. Now, yes. Yeah, Vlad uh, Vlad can really run away with things, man, if he gets going. Like the I, I've seen the same kind of thing with, with Kemmler actually as well. Like the vampires. If they get going, they um they can cause a real freaking mess. Who is this? Oh, okay, this is Albert. Elmbrick, Elmbrick, Elmbrick. Uh, uh, yeah, let's go Guardians of the Lady. Um. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I think eventually I'm going to turn his army into Hippogriffs. Kind of the plan. All right, so a couple turns away, but we'll force march through here, get caught back up. Um, we can. These guys seem like they don't. Oh, man, I don't know. A little nervous because we've lost track of uh, of Scarbrand. A little nerve wracking. The blood father. Yeah, so it'll take quite a while before we get more allegiant points, but it shall be so. those guys will look nice in Albrecht's army. And then we can push north, I guess. So we'll push north, take this stuff out, and then swing back around to Galbaraz. But yeah, the... The issue that we're having is just the the river here. We need to get across this river. Might it might even be better 
to come around. Uh, I mean, we're going to have to start. Yeah, either we take the long way around and go across the bridge here, or we force march and just suck it up and take some attrition for a turn. And then, I don't know, pretend, like these guys are kind of, sort of, stuck in no man's land right now. I don't want to go into the middle of the swamp to get after them, but we'll have Albrecht force march to get back over here and catch up. And then we'll keep the army together. I, I was hoping splitting them up would would have helped the situation, speed things along a little bit, but I don't want to say it's had the opposite effect, but it's just, yeah, I think we're going to have to come up here weed this stuff out and then come back down around and then i think um i think that'll be it for them hopefully and just in the meantime with any luck we just won't end up going to war with the skaven if we end up going to war with the skaven right now fuck that's gonna be not so fun my strength and wisdom are yours Uh, Wesley says uh, he's a m immortal, uh, Vlad. You have to kill him, uh, auto resolve. Yeah, uh, you know what? Do you know who I I can't remember the last time I fought him in a like in a battle battle. Um, but yeah, he um he's ridiculously tough to deal with. Um, I don't know. I, yeah, that's a. I don't know what the best method to kill him is. Alright, the awakening. Let's... Does this... Uh, gives us another... This is hero capacity for damsels, but I think... Let's rather get the defenses up here for now. And, yeah, I guess we'll upgrade that. Might as well get it going. We're not using our full capacity for damsels at the moment. Actually, cancel that. Um, 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 um. Let's build a grill shrine uh, for the garrison unit. I don't want to, um, this was our, I mean, technically our capital, we start with, I think, Brigone. Uh, this is where we, our starting settlement. So this is the capital of our starting province and it got, got smashed by the Lizardmen. That's why it's tier three right now, which was, um, really annoying them to do that. All right. Let's march up to the monument of Itza. Protector of the realm. Blessings of the lady be upon you. I am a lord of Bretonia. Never. Ugh, traffic jam. Is yours. I'm getting a tiny bit of replenishment. You, uh, who's got on the side skill points? If you insist. Knight, uh, knight to Conrad. Look at that. So this guy's leveling up. Or for, oh, for fuck's sake. Forgot to take his vow. Men have showed up. Get 
this. Look at this. All right, Alberic, boogie on over this way, though. Taking my leave. Um. Oh uh, man, I don't. I don't think it's a good idea that we force march here, just in case the Skaven declare war on us. Um, ah, uh, here's fucking Scarbrand. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. Hopefully, he just raises it. You are welcome here, friend. What business do you have? With passion. With passion. Might go military alliance with her. I don't know. Maybe, but yeah. Probably best for us to just stay in regular march there. Because who knows? If we sit there, if this is obviously Skaven territory, if we're in force march in Skaven territory, if they have an army there that we can't see, they'll definitely declare a war on us. Or well, I mean. I mean, maybe they won't, but My steps are guided. the AI has a hard time Me. resisting, uh, resisting the old, uh, how much are these, uh, 1.6k a piece, good god, Vanity. gotta get them into Albrecht's army, and they'll only be 500. I must uh, keep my holy vow. I no. must keep my yes. holy vow. Holy moly. Alright, let's go kill some beastmen. This is going to be interesting because... Uh, oh my god, look at that. Auto-resolve. Uh, what do you think? Should we... Uh, yeah, I think... Oh, man. Leadership. And charge bonus. Give that to you. I think we'll fight it. Um... Even though this could very quickly turn into a mess. Uh, especially with those warhounds. Um, warhounds and the minotaurs could be issues. The Sigur is a bit of a binder issue. But yeah, the Warhounds could really make a mess of our archers here. <laughs> Wesley says Scarbrand's about to clap your cheeks. <laughs> it's everybody's favorite expression nowadays. <laughs> the old cheek clappers. Uh, um, God, we really need these guys on the field. We need them there, boys. Um, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference if you're on the field. Yeah, the thing is, like, Scarbrand, um, yeah, the, hopefully he just raises that territory, he's at war with response as well, like, we need to get rid of his, um, his core settlements, where he's getting, like, his troops from, and then, like, once, once, like, he's got no major settlements, then, um, he should be um, should be ripe for the picking. Um, let's actually switch the two of you. And you guys are gonna have to uh, gonna have to protect against those warhounds if possible. Um, I'm just gonna get you guys together. I just want to move back a little bit. 
And just try and try and buy us a little bit of time, even though are the fucking Oh man, maybe we shouldn't have moved the trebuchets. Fuck, they're so slow. Are they Oh hallelujah? Oh look at bless your hearts. They're just gonna sit for now. Wow. Their only chance was really to rush us. Honor before glory, if that it's the case. Just move back a little bit further. And I'd like to spread the archers out a little bit as well. Your of heart. But yeah, we we defeated Scarbrand once already with Albrecht's army. It was uh it was a tough fight. But Albrecht uh took him on one on one. And uh managed to take him down. But, yeah, his new army looks, well, I don't know if it's scarier or not, but. I'd rather, rather fight him with, um, with the combined forces. Like, these, these armies were made to, um, to fight together. Um, so that's what they're gonna do. Okay, you can go with them. You can be group four, and you can be group five. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go have some fun. It's my freaking birds. Leave my birds alone. Where's, uh, drop a heal on these guys? Let's go see if we can kill this Saigor. Westy says, it's been a long time since I played Petonia. I forgot the strats. Yeah, I, I don't know, like, Petonia, I usually just go with the peasant archers initially. And then eventually you just want to work towards the um, the Hippogriff Knights. The Hippogriff Knights are so good. This uh, situation might get uh, a little bit out of hand here. Oh, fuck. I don't know if that's going to work on those uh, Minotaurs. Alright, let's uh, keep moving. Let's just pull out of here now. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Just trying to get at that Minotaur, but yeah, obviously I uh, kicked the hornet's nest here. Have we lost anybody yet? Not yet, but I took some damage. Alright, let's pull out, boys. Pull out. So that's what it is. Uh, let's see if we can get them out. That. Ah, sugar and spice. I did not mean to move, you idiots. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah, oh, sweet mother of pearl. Back into formation. <laughs> this guy is fucked. That guy is fucked. All right, one of the hippos should be able to deal with that. You get in the air. You get the fuck out of there. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Daniel Lesso says, Yo! Good night, everybody. Daniel, what's going on, man? Welcome to the stream. I meticulously took my time to set these guys up and fucking move them by accident. Alright, I guess just leave the Saigor alone. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, actually. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Go, go, go. Alright, let's 
You guys need to. Yeah, I freaking. I didn't mean to move these guys up so far. And, yep. Four archers. Go back. Oh, fuck, what are you doing? I hate that when the targeting, you're, you're trying to target something and then it, like, moves the unit instead. Alright, I mean, it's going well, but sort of. Ugh. Alright, you guys. Keep charging around. And one of these here. Yeah, just our hippo is taking a fair bit of damage. I think these guys. Oh, it's the fucking. Uh, few casualties. I mean, they only have 12 models in the unit to begin with, but still, that's one unit lost, took four casualties, which is kind of annoying. I'm sure these guys don't come back. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't see them. Yeah, have we stayed back where we were? Probably would have been fine. I have a heal on these boys. There we go. Finish him off. Oh, fuck. How did we lose? Oh, my God. You know what it is? I think, uh, I think it's friendly fire from the trebuchets. What was killing them there? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, you know, probably auto resolve would have been better. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But yeah, it's just. We're not getting much replenishment in this area, for obvious reasons. War herd of the one eye. We ran across the freaking swamp. Dana says, Bretonia's hard tried once and never got back to them. Um, I mean, I don't know. I really like Bretonia. Um, the, uh, I think, like, the key, like, what I like to do is build armies of Cav and then pair them with armies of archers, at least early game. Um, and then you want to take advantage, you want to always try and have like four, four lords working together, uh, because the lords, um, because you, you have no, um, you have no supply lines with Bretonia, so you can have as many armies as you want. So you want to take advantage of, uh, having as many lords as possible together, and, um, that way... Oh, we could finish them off. But yeah, that way, uh, they're all leveling up. And the thing is, too, uh, the Bretonian Lords, once they get their... Um, once they get their Hippogriff, one of the most powerful... Um, one of the most powerful, like, flyers in the, in the game. Uh, so they're very, very useful. But yeah, I don't usually bother with the Bretonian 
sort of infantry like the men at arms and the like all that stuff i just go with archers and trebuchets are nice too and then lots of paladins and then the good thing about Bretonia too like i'm playing a little bit of a a little bit of a themed campaign but the thing is with Bretonia is you've got technology where you can do confederations with your technologies so it makes them well provided these factions don't get wiped out in between by the time you research them which heraldry of aquitaine it, it seems to happen quite often uh, with those guys that they get wiped out but um it's really nice though because you're able to confederate with these guys if you if you do these researches early uh whereas like a lot of the other factions in the game the the confederations are, are a real pain in the ass uh it, you've got to wait for the right circumstances and the right opportunity but um yeah essentially i think like your early game cavalry i I would say the Knights of the Realm are going to be your best early game cavalry because they've got the bonus versus large. Bonus versus large is just so huge in 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 this game. Like it's it's probably one of the most important melee stats. Um and I mean Albrecht though does have a little bit of an advantage because he does give bonuses for the Knights of the Realm. But I mean late game you essentially want to work towards the these bad boys, the hippogriffs, or even the, I think the grail guardians would, uh, would work really well, but like stacks of these or like mixing these with the, uh, with the grail guardians, very, very powerful. It's just uh, a matter of getting the, uh, the vows done. So it's, it's sort of like they're, they're a simplified faction, but they, they do require like a little bit of specialization, but I think they are, uh, one of the underrated factions. I think, um, once you get the hang of them, I, I think they can be quite strong. Wesley says, I used to spam Lothar's Sea Guard, and it's actually pretty effective. Lothar's Sea Guard are, are really good units um, for the uh, for the High Elves. Really good. One of, like, High Elves, man, they, they've just got so many options for archers, like, and depending on which faction you have. Like, I love playing as Tori of Rest because Tori of Rest has those specialty archers. Uh, I mean, same thing with Lithanar has those specialty archers. But I think most definitely my favorite archers in the game are the um, the Wood Elf archers. The uh, what are they? The Way Watchers. Oh, they're so fucking good. Daniel Lesso says, fielding peasants hurts your economy or something like that too. No, that's true. Uh, that is true. Um, so you got to be careful of your peasant economy. So right now we're fielding 29 out of 36. So as you expand, um, as you expand, um, you'll, you'll gain access to more peasants. But I mean, later, later in the game, you won't be, these guys, as you get into the later game, um, you're not going to need the, uh, the peasants as much. Um, you're, you're going to be relying more on the cavalry and, and cavalry stacks do have a little bit more, um, a little bit more viability in this, especially the high tier cavalry. The high tier cavalry is excellent. Uh, supported with like heal spells and do a ton of damage. Uh, Knight to Shabal, what's he currently commit? Oh, son of a bitch. He's not supposed to have this army, to be honest. Um, so work towards Bailiff. Actually supposed to be... Do you know who I am? We really should go finish them off. Yes. I will indulge you. The lady wills it. I end up taking a little bit of attrition, Lord but 
Albrecht is making his way over here also. So they're getting a little bit of support this time around. We'll, we'll fight this one too. I'll see if I can do a little bit of a better job this time around. Wesley says, Way Watchers are great. Yeah. Says, I love the Wood Elves in general. They're so unique in playstyle. Wood Elves are so much fun. If you haven't played Orion, my God, Orion is a blast. Like, uh, the thing is, like, every faction you're at war with reduces your income. So, like, doing a This Is Total War campaign as Orion is so much fun. We did, um, last summer, we did Orion, This Is Total War, and Ultimate Early Endgame Crisis. Um, we played it all the way to full map completion, and it was, like, probably one of my favorite campaigns I've ever done. It was, I mean, it was tense in the beginning, uh, just because the uh, uh, the woods there are surrounded by so many, um, so many of the endgame crises. But, uh, yeah, because Orion has that campaign mechanic... You basically get free armies. Like once once you're at war with a certain amount of faction, a uh, certain amount of factions, your armies are all all free. So it just and then the wood elves. There's so many different things you can do with the wood elf uh, with the wood elf roster. So much fun. <laughs> ah, fuck it. I was gonna spread these guys out, but. Lord of Bretonia. Oh, look at this. Fucking cowards. Running. Running. Uh, don't need that up. Um, Alright, boys. Let's go. Let's see what we can deal with the Saigor. We serve our liege. Um, yeah, they're within the range. I don't know how much damage gonna do. All right, actually, pull back because you're gonna have to gonna have to deal with the, uh, the warhounds. At least they're th he's throw the Cygor is throwing. Is uh, rocks at the at the Pegasus and not at our peasants, so that's good. But yeah, Wood Elves, I used to be a little bit... Like, Wood Elves and Warhammer... Like, they, they're they so much better in Warhammer 3 than they are... Or than they were in... Uh, in Warhammer 2. But... Um, the thing is, I used to be a little bit prejudiced against the war, Wood Elves because... They didn't have... They don't have any artillery, and I love artillery, as you can... As you can probably tell. Um, but... Yeah, I... Um, Ah, shit. Go, go, go. A little bit of prejudice, uh, because they didn't have artillery. But, like, in all honesty, though, like, the artillery would probably just slow them down and get in the way. Like, um... Fuck, I hate Warhounds. But yeah, the Wood Elves, uh, such a unique playstyle. Just um, great army roster. Very fast. Hard hitting. A lot of armor piercing. All that stuff. Alright, the rest of the boys are here. Let's bring this up. All right, I don't. I'm gonna keep you in reserve because I don't want you to take any more casualties. So we'll just. Uh, oh shit! Yes, uh, fuck whatever. All 
All right, their reinforcements have arrived. And you guys get in position for them. So we can get in position over there. Probably should have been conserving my ammo a little bit. Uh, yes, for them. Actually, you guys go deal with those warhounds. using your abilities here that probably help things along a little bit. Alright, good. Their lord is down. Oh shit, what are you doing? Ah oh, shit, I've got my fucking groups messed up. And son of a bitch. Wesley says, what elf units uh, look cool and looking cool is the most important. <laughs> 100%. You know, you gotta look good to do good. that other hippogriff get to? Alright. Back over here. So artillery pieces still have ammo a little bit. Shots are not gonna, not gonna do so good. Let's drop one of those down. Yeah, where's my reserves? It's coming around the corner here. some of them alright you guys 
guys pull out of there. Yeah, fire arrows not gonna help us much against corn. Usually, I just I typically just go for the the poison arrows because I find poison is pretty useful against more factions than than just the fire arrows, but. I think at the time we were fighting against vampires or something, I was so was like, uh, you know, we could probably use a little bit of um a little bit of fire. Um, try to make sure this guy's dies. A little bit of healing in here. Priestess of the Lady in her service. I call thee forth. Yeah, we are gonna suffer attrition during the end turn, so we might as well might as well get the heroes healed up a bit. God, this guy's still going, eh? I just can't kill him. There we go. Finally got him. Wesley says, Back when I was a kid, I watched Lindy Bage, and he hates fire arrows. LOL, they're unrealistic according to him. Uh, they probably had their uses in, in certain uh scenarios but uh yeah that's interesting i don't know I, I yeah like i don't know how historically historically accurate they are i don't know that's interesting but yeah i, I could see them being useful in some kind of like in like siege situation where you're sieging like a walled city and you're trying to like ignite the rooftops like of like houses like I would imagine like a lot of the the um the houses had like straw roofs or something or like flammable roofs rooftops um so I could see maybe in that way they might um might be useful Wesley says they were a thing, but not in any large amount. At least use the fire blows out. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I would imagine you need some kind of like really oh nice hippogriff. Uh, your army gained the blessing of the lady. Yeah, so hopefully he doesn't occupy these territories. Though the problem is, uh, they have a chance to occupy any raised settlements. So. Uh, just uh, going to be a freaking nuisance. Anyway, I, I think what we're going to have to do is come up here, take out these settlements, like I said, and then come back around, take out Galbaraz. And then hopefully that'll be the end of them. Um, of the lady be upon you. Do not have enough movement to get back there. We might as well go into that stance. And the same thing with you guys. With Bailiff. Uh, these units... My strength and wisdom we want to transfer over to her army. Making my way. Uh, because she's got the... Um, she got the peasants proficiency. Um, I think I transferred at some point, uh, for whatever reason. But yeah, I think, uh, probably just be better. I think Shibble's army will, uh, I think Shibble will probably, uh, go with, go with this. Glorfinial's progeny. And then, 
what will most likely have... Oh, for fuck's sake. You know what, I I think I'm just going to leave it for now because I don't see any opportunity to for any of those at the moment. Wesley says, which faction has the best artillery in your opinion? I would say Skaven. Um, I, I think Skaven has the strongest artillery. Like, uh, I do like the Hellstorm rocket batteries for Empire, and I don't really play Skaven, but I can really appreciate the Skaven artillery, the Plague Clock catapults, and the, uh, what, what is it, the Warp Fire Thrower? And then, if you throw the field gun in there as well, the, um, the rattling guns, I, I don't think any other faction can, can compete with that, like, it, like, head to head. Like, if we were to match up the artilleries head to head, like, I don't know. I mean, like, you could argue Empire because, like, Empire's got the Hellstorms, and then if you include the tanks with, as, like, an artillery unit, then maybe you could, uh, you could make the argument for the Empire. But, like, dwarves, I think, like, I, I don't know. I always have this argument with Anisius, uh, one of my good buddies that we do the multiplayer with. Um, like, the Dwarven artillery seems really underwhelming to me. Like, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's still good artillery. But, like, the organ guns are technically not an artillery piece. They're technically a field gun. They're, like, they're, they're in the game as, like, um, like, a as a field gun. So, I mean, they are an artillery piece, but... The range, the the range on them makes them vulnerable to other artillery, um, and, and then the dwarves. You've got like the dwarves are to like the grudge throwers are great, especially early game, and then you've got the cannons. But like the cannons give you the range, but they they don't really, you know, they're just kind of you know regular, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um. And then you've got the flame cannons, which are, I don't know. I, I never really use the flame cannons much because I think they've got less range than the cannons. Um, I, I think they do more damage or whatever, but less range. <laughs> Board Cube says, got a sandwich if you want a tea slash coffee, Ragnarok. I've got, uh, I've got a tea go in here. Um... A little bit of uh, uh, green ginseng tea and a little bit of coffee that was, <laughs> sad to say, left over from earlier today. Um, I don't know. I can't. I, when I have my, like, when I get up in the morning, I can't wait to have my coffee, which is not usually a good sign. That's, you know, sign of uh, addiction. <laughs> uh, but I can't wait to have my coffee in the morning, but I can never finish uh, my coffee in the morning. Um, I usually get about, like three quarters of the way through and then I'm like ah I've had enough of this but can't bring bring myself to throwing it out ooh, ooh. alright let's build some walls some wallsies um, we can build that and oh shit okay yeah uh, we'll build this so we can uh, build that up Wesley says, I like the dwarves uh, with modded units. Base game, their artillery is kind of lacking. They have no cavs, so you think they'd have amazing artillery to make up for it. Yeah, you know, like, at least the Skaven has fast units uh, to support their artillery. So it's, you know, you've got, you've got mobility plus artillery, right? But with the dwarves, I mean, you've got... You've got a tiny bit of mobility with the, um, with the Slayers, and I guess you could argue you've got some mobility with, um, Blessings of the lady be upon you. with their flying units, but just, yeah, the, um, like I said, the Dwarven artillery just feels underwhelming to me. I, I don't know, I... 
Oh, we should probably you know scout this Did area you before we before we jump in there. <laughs> Borg says, hey, we pretty much all have addictions of some kind. Caffeine isn't a terrible one. There, there are definitely worse ones to have. For sure. Um, and there may even be some benefits to... Uh... Like, I think with coffee, like... The worst... Um... The worst things about coffee are usually what we put in it, like cream and sugar, right? Like, the coffee itself is not as bad for you as um, as some of the things that we add to it. Like, I've started drinking coffee just black um, lately, usually when I go out for coffee. But when I, when I have coffee at home, I have... Um... Oh, for fuck's sake, this guy's got no movement. All right, just move back to Talaxalan. When I have coffee at home, I I put in like these uh, I buy like these specialty creams like hazelnut and uh, French vanilla, sometimes Irish uh, Irish coffee, and boy howdy, are they ever freaking delicious! But uh, there's so much sugar in them, and the cream itself is not good for you either. But anyway. Borg says, dwarfs need some common type of anti-large infantry. If the unit contains a trap, then even better. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if some, there was someone musing that maybe the dwarves might get a little bit of an upgrade with the, um, with the next DLC. So we shall see. I, I don't know. I, I, I feel like the dwarves need a little bit of something of but uh, you know like they do have their advantages like they, they they do have like their armor and stuff but i i just feel like against a really um against a really seasoned opponent um with, with um with well-built armies like most of the other factions should be able to pick the dwarves apart piece by piece uh, but yeah, I don't know. What other factions have good artilleries? I, I would say those are the top three, like Skaven, Dwarves, and Skaven, Dwarves, and and Empire. Though I, <coughs> Bretonia's artillery is not terrible, though. Um, it, you know. You don't have a lot of options for it, but the blessed trebuchets, like once you get up to the blessed tre trebuchets, like the good thing about the Bretonian cat, uh, well, let me here bring it up. The good thing about the uh, Bretonian artillery is that these field trebuchets are cheap, uh, 163. They've got excellent range and they will do a fair bit of damage. And you can get them at level 2. Like, that's not freaking bad. And then the Blessed Trebuchets are only 213, but you do have to wait till tier 5. So, I mean, I feel like Bretonia's artillery is not tier. <laughs> I guess you've got Kislev 2. Oh, you know what? I forgot about the Chaos Dwarves, though. Chaos Dwarves. I don't know. Eh... I think Cast Wars more war machines. <laughs> uh, Westy says, uh, so you're telling me Irish cream was a lie all uh, this whole time. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Bork says, here on the coffee thing, firstly, in Ireland, we don't have cream. Uh, what is it? Secondly, tea has generally more caffeine per gram than coffee. Yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. Though I feel like like the caffeine in tea seems different than the caffeine in coffee. I don't know. I, I don't really know a whole lot about it, but... Um, uh, let's give you this as well. Uh, Born says, hello, part two. Born, welcome back, brother. Borg says, dwarves are hard if you don't have armor piercing, but everything has armor piercing these days, so it's hard for them to be relevant. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, dwarves, uh, early game dwarves, uh, the fighting against dwarves can be a real slog. Uh, but once you've got armor piercing, you can cut through them pretty, pretty easily. All right, so we'll sell this to somebody at some point, and let's just see if... Yeah, they're, they're gaining strength, I think. Um, we'll probably sell this settlement to someone here. I didn't really want to, like, my plan was never to come up here and uh, mess around. So I think I'm probably going to fall back to Talaxland. And we might even send, might even send these guys, um, I don't know. Do we need these guys now? We might send them over to Sartosa, actually. No, it might be quicker to build an... Yeah, you know, it would probably be quicker to build an army over here. Do you know who I, am? I think we're going to disband Thor for now, and we're going to disband Pickle. Do you know who I am? And... Let these guys heal up. I'm not going to disband this army this turn, but I might disband it next turn. I don't know. Because uh, I think it'd just be quicker to... Oh, son of a bitch. You know what I could have done to get those guys back quicker is we could have just... Yes. Could have just... Um... Rather than disband... So when you disband someone, they don't come back for five turns. Yes. But if you reset their skill points, they come back in three turns. They're they're available in three turns. So it just when you disband a lord, it unless you're like using uh something to improve like the global. Like sometimes these blue skill trees will have some kind of global bonus that you you still get when they're disbanded. Unless that's the case, usually you just want to reset the skill points and then that way you have them available quicker. Uh, unless there's no hurry to do it, but anyway. Lord of Bretonia. Lord of Bretonia. Alright, let's um what do we got? Uh we got Knight to Guy. Let's put you in there. I just I wanna have the lords in the um not that we need them in these. And yeah, we'll grab Ragnar and just put him in here. But in each province we'll have a lord to act as governor and then that way we can we can scoop up peasants or whatever if we need them um you know what i am gonna disband these but um we might sail across the sea though with this army because the thing is to bring these agents over it would, um, they're, they'll move slower, uh, to get over here. And I don't think we're going to need them here. I mean, the Lizardmen might come down here again. So we might build a small force here to defend against the Lizardmen. Oh, we've got good defense. Yeah. We'll just keep an eye out for them. I guess we could use these agents as... As spies to keep an eye on things. And then keep our damsel down. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll send the... We'll send Shibble and uh, Paladin to Morn north to scout. And then Popeye... We'll reset Popeye's skill points. And uh, uh, Invincible Morn can be the uh, the garrison at Talaxlan. For the time being. And then I think what we'll do is we'll raise an army Guardian. over here. Uh, once we have a little bit more cash coming in. And uh, prepare um, to go to Sartosa. Um, while um, these guys are stuck in the mud My out here. That's fine. And then just check the quick deals here, quick. The Empire Keeper for Dragon. Oh, we can almost get trade Master with the Jade Court. I wonder uh, if Jade. no, Dragon we don't have enough sorcery. money to. Uh... All right, balls. that's fine. Oh, 
Borg says it's a mind over matter thing for sure with tea versus coffee. I drink both. Um, I, I love my green tea. Um, and I love my coffee as well. I do also have this stuff. It's called mud water, which is sort of, uh, it's a basically like a, like a supplement for tea, like, or, or a substitute for, for coffee. And it's a mixture of all kinds of different herbs, uh, but also, also mushrooms. Um, it's like taking me a while to get used to the the taste of it but it is uh supposed to be really good for you and like the the sort of the mushrooms that are in it give you sort of like a um they're supposed to like heighten your awareness or whatever right like m mushrooms have like some very interesting properties um Wesley says, dwarves are still fun to play as if you do the checkerboard with the thunders. Oh, yeah, yeah. I I have trouble with guns. Like, I, I'm i not uh, very adept at using... Um, using... Um, Protector of the realm. The lady all right, you just park there. Do you know um, I want Shibble to get healed before we send him send him north but let's uh let's send you up this way My reputation um if you park here it shall be so. but yeah thunderers like the the guns like the terrain uh can sometimes you know like throws me off a lot of times Let's talk to the Jade Court here, and if we trade the Monument of Itzel, take trade agreement. I don't want defensive alliance for them with them because if they end up at war with other people here, it's yeah that that's the mistake we made earlier in the campaign that kind of um, kind of messed things along a little bit. Um, just come down around this way. Borg says, at Wesley, they are fun to play for sure, just a not against. <laughs> Hello. Do you know who I am? No, I think doors are still fun to play, even, like... It's just... It, it, like... They could use a little love, I think, is the, uh... Is the only thing. They could, uh... Like, like it feels like they're a little bit handicapped in comparison to some of the other, other races. But they're, they're definitely a really fun race to play as. 20 turns what the flying fudge sickles um we probably can get rid of these buildings now um though maybe we'll keep this actually and then we'll build the um because public order could be somewhat of an issue here and okay berserker is there Daniel Lesso says, I'm a simple dude. I like rats with machine guns. <laughs> well, there you go. I I can definitely see the appeal of the uh, the Skaven. And I, I don't know. I have a... Yeah. have a reputation to maintain. So I can't... I don't know. I, I always say that there are no, uh, there are no rats in Valhalla. So yeah, that's why I never play Skaven. But I don't know. I've been talked to, I was talked into it once before. I played Skaven once, and they are a lot of fun. Definitely see, see the appeal, but the, the rats. At the end of the day, they're still rats. <laughs> uh, Westy says, dudes out here, uh, dudes really out here drinking mud water. <laughs> and Bork says, here, that sounds nice. Uh, for gaming, it's more like the action of drinking more than a drug slash drink. And Wesley says, if it's good, it's good. I won't judge. It's different. Um, I, I I bought some and I haven't, like, I still haven't finished it. Like, I have it on occasion. I prefer the coffee. Uh, but it just, it's it's a more medicinal sort of alternative to sort of the caffeine that you get. The, the caffeine sort of jolt that you get from coffee. All right. So, Scarbrands. Looks like he might not go for the floating village. And lucky us, we did not get attacked by Skaven. Thank God. It's 
So what we might do, we might draw Scarbrand over here. We might set up an ambush and try to draw him over to us. Oh, um, very well. How much can you get to? Alright, perfect. Transfer these bad boys over to Alberic. And just uh, stay put where you are, I guess. You're getting replenishment there anyway. Um, yeah, stay in, stay in that stance. Transfer these guys over. Um, yeah, I guess we'll transfer the heroes over too. You honor me. You honor me. Oh, right, the Green Knight is supposed to be in this army. So, how many turns we got left with this cowboy? Only five turns. God, we didn't make much use of him. Have him out here scouting. What a useless use for the Green Knight. Anyway, somebody had to come scout. So, fuck, what can you do? Alright, I guess apparently... Alright. Shibble. Why is it... Alright, stand where there's no attrition. If you don't mind. <laughs> Morin says, I bet Ragnarok likes oatmeal or raisin cookies. More, you know what? I've got a box of oatmeal raisin cookies sitting on my shelf right now. <laughs> um, yeah. Don't mind if I do. Uh, though, my preference is oatmeal chocolate chip oatmeal chocolate chip are sort of my uh my thing i do uh i do i do <laughs> fucking mourn yeah 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 <laughs> all right well we might as well scoop up another archer just to fill out this army even if it uses up some of our uh precious um, alliance points, but yeah, just round this army out. Blessings of the lady be upon you. So yeah, we might sit in this province. It looks like he's gonna come to us. Maybe, maybe he's going towards the floating village. I don't know. It's hard to say. Hard to tell with these AI. You never know what they're gonna do. But if we could draw, it, well, mm. armored in faith. Yeah, we we still might want to head head north. It would be nice to smack him before we head north. Oh, we're gonna have to deal with him at some point, obviously. The nation calls. The nation calls. I await. Bork says, "Ha, I won't judge because you do, but obviously you're wrong." <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, that saved us quite a bit of money getting those um, these hippos into into Albrecht's army, though they are replenishing dreadfully slow. Uh, Albrecht, do you have enough movement to get? No, you don't. Get into Morgheim. Um. All right. Yeah. I'm gonna burn another turn. Bork says, uh, I enjoy giving myself unlimited money because then I can give certain factions like Scar money and make them more relevant. Uh. Bork says, laughing myself, it's never my carefully crafted jokes that make you crackle. It's always bullshit like that. <laughs> I thought that was one of your carefully, crack uh, carefully craft crafted jokes. You know what the thing is? Like, I'm too, um, I'm too daft. I'm too... Um, I'm too slow to catch the the subtle humor sometimes, you know. That's uh, you know, there have been times when uh, plenty of times where uh, people have been like <laughs> trolling me, and I just you know too stupid to realize I'm being trolled. Not saying that you would ever do that, Morn. But um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know why that cracked me up like that. Uh, all right, this jabroni. I mean, we have met before. 
Yeah, I don't know. Um, the thing is, like, he... I mean, if this isn't an example of AI bias, um, I don't know what is. Because this, completely undefended, could have come down here and smoked that. Whereas we've got, like, a strong force up here, and he seems to be coming up this way. And coming into the... He came into this province just to raid it. Um, but he seems to be following us. Um... All right, let's go down this. Uh, no, take that back. Let's go towards Arcane Conduit. Borg says, I enjoy myself on... Lib oh, sorry, I read that already. Westy says, favorite Chaos Faction to play? Uh, you know what? I haven't really... I don't have a lot of experience playing Chaos, to be honest. I like what they've done with, like, the Warriors of Chaos, where, like, it's kind of interesting where you have, like, where where you can have all of these vassals. I think, I think that's a faction I would like to explore. Um... I like that sort of, um, I like that concept. And I don't know if you guys caught it. I don't know if you can, if, if it still works, but there was a really broken, there was, oh, son of a bitch. Should have sunk points into that way sooner. Uh, there was a cheese that the spiffing Brit did with the Warriors of Chaos, where like, he's just like taking everyone's territory. It's fucking hilarious. All right, well, since you're here, you might as well come up and scout. Borg says, next you're going to say you enjoy pineapple on your vegan cheese pizza. I do enjoy pineapple on pizza. I, I like, um, I mean, I'll eat just about anything on pizza. And depending on my mood, I don't always like to have pineapple on pizza. But I, I do like Hawaiian pizza. But, uh, yeah, I all sorts of stuff on pizza. And Moore says, it's okay. A laugh is a laugh. Okay, but for, oh, uh, what's your least favorite cookie? Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. What is my least favorite cookie? Oh, yes. Protector of the realm. There are definitely some bad cookies. I hate, like, cookies that are, like, really, really hard. Like, oh, cookies that are, like, hard as rock. Um, not a big fan of those types of cookies. All right. Should we... Wait for Scarbrand here, lure him over here, or should we just get going and take it? I think we should just get get on the move. Um, kind of sucks we're in bad shape, but actually, how far can Albert get this turn? My strength and wisdom are yours. My strength and wisdom are yours, and then yeah, let's head to Bitterstone Mine. Because it doesn't... I mean, we could sit here and wait for him, but I hate being passive. Um, and I have a... Oh, shit. Alright, just get across the river. Oh, uh, fuck. This guy is gonna be behind the rest. Knight de Moose, you slow-ass son of a bitch. Come on, get it. Do you know who I am? Get across. Get across. I think he's kind of across. All right, we'll sell Morgheim to our lovely lady friend. I bid you welcome and invite you to say your piece. Morgheim. Certainly. We're making some nice coin from her. Um, though I feel bad because uh, she's giving us all this money for these settlements. She's not. Um, not gonna have any money left over to build them up. Yeah, so we'll head to Dragonhorn Mines first. And then uh, we'll come up there. So hopefully we can get some replenishment there. But we take a look at this. But yeah, we've um We've weakened them. This crusade into the Badlands has been a real slog. But I, I feel like the thing is, like, I, if we had left Corn here, I I think he would have eventually pushed through all this territory and the situation would have been far worse. 
So I just want to leave our allies in the best possible situation, though. <laughs> though um, this down here doesn't look super good either. I don't know. <laughs> Wesley says, every time you put pineapple on pizza, an Italian cries. You know, it's funny. I work in an Italian restaurant, and one of the... Uh, um, it's owned by... Um, uh, the family that owns it are Sicilian, and they actually have a Tropicana pizza on the menu. There is actually a uh, pineapple and ham on the menu. So... I don't know. I don't know. Um, do some upgrading. Um, Invincible Morn. Alright, you come down this way. And you head north. So we'll just come up north with our um, agents here and keep an eye on things. And we'll send her down. Uh, we'll send the big <laughs> we'll send the big booty Latina down to join the Invincible Morn, and then um, Popeye. We will say goodbye for now. But um, yeah, Morn will be our um, our garrison here for the time being. Um, and just keep an eye out for the lizards. Um, I don't know how comfortable I feel with all of this in my territory, but. Uh, we are on good terms with these guys. We got... Yeah. Though... Interestingly enough, we don't... They, we don't have military access, and they're... Freaking... Tramping around in our territory. Like... What the... Are they... I think they're at war with, um... With Marcus. Yeah, that's why. They're probably moving against Marcus Wolfheart. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I wanted everyone to be friends down here. I wanted... I wanted Marcus and Itza to get along. But that's not the case, unfortunately. Would have made things so much, uh, so much easier to manage. But anyway, we're friendly with both sides. I have no desire to go into war into it. oh it's a looks like they would be a real pain in the ass to deal with if we were to go to war with them just check the quick deals before Ready. we end the turn what? can I assist <laughs> Bork says kill and burn scar yeah that's hopefully the plan um, and, uh, Bork says, at Morn, I mean, uh, you will be assimilated. Resistance is futile. And, of course, Morn, you never get to speak. <laughs> Bork says, uh, big booty Latina kills Lizzie's. <laughs> Morn says, at Bork Cube, I just remembered we're in the same universe. Also, when did you get a big booty Latina in your campaign? What, when, we always have a big booty Latina in the campaign. What are you talking about, Morn? It's a regular staple. <laughs> Wesley says peace hammer yeah exactly we're, we're conquering the game through peace um is that surely you've got more than 700 gold woman come on at least make it worth my while um it's funny that's one of the things that you could do in three kingdoms total war was you could um you could trade you could offer food to be able to like uh trade for settlements and there there were i i remember seeing videos where where people were like selling off all of their food for um you know to basically <laughs> conquer the conquer the game by just uh yeah with, with their food Pretty hilarious. Chivalrous, forward then, hero of Britonia. 
Yeah, I mean, if I was... If we weren't trying to create this sort of uh, maritime empire and have sort of like somewhat of a themed campaign, probably would have made an effort to conquer all of Lustria. Uh, but uh, because we're, we're trying to establish a maritime empire, which has, uh, yeah, this has gone okay, I suppose. Um, but yeah, the, the hitch in the plan was that, like, my preference would be to become defensive allies with everyone over here, but because everyone, not everyone gets along, it's not, um, not possible. But yeah, I, I think in a normal campaign, we would be moving to uh, to try and conquer this territory rather than, you know, just uh, make friends with everyone. All right. Uh, what are we going to build over here? We probably don't need defenses here at the moment. So... Why don't we build a smithy? We'll build a grail shine and then we'll build the smithy. Get those going. And there's no hurry to build the army there. We, we do want to build an army to... Um, what did I say I was going to build here? Oh, right. We're going to build the, uh, the grail shrine as well. Borg says, huh? Never had women pay me to make it worth their while. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Uh, how much movement we got here? Beautiful. To victory. To victory. Uh. Recite is yours. Thing is, oh man, I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep. Uh, it's not necessarily crucial that you get replenishment. Yeah, you guys can take some attrition. So the thing is, I'm not entirely sure, like, if we capture this, we might, we might get replenishment here, but I don't want to risk it. I want to make sure this army gets replenishment. And we don't really need them for this fight anyway. Ugh. I don't really want to fight this. 49. It's not too bad, I guess. It's tempting to sack it, but um, we need the um, the replenishment more than anything. Oh, look at that! Short campaign victory completed. Boom. Boom goes the dynamite. Borgcube says that Morn uh, is uh, a weird way of spelling Borg. Um... Mor says Raggy keeps reading Borg Cube as Morn. Oh, really? Whoops. Oops, Daisy. In faith. My apologies. Um, I confuse. You should know me by now, Morn, that I confuse quite easily. So that is uh, definitely something to consider. Fucking vows are a pain in the ass. The middle vow is a can be a pain in the ass. Because we don't have any legendary lords of ogres, beastmen, greenskins, or dark elves. Win a battle at sea. Um it's probably the easiest one to do. We're just not at sea right now. Win a siege battle in a desert or jungle climate. We're in neither right now, so anyway, I'm just so remember to keep an eye on those when we the get the opportunity for one of those. Um, I guess for now we'll just give some of this. Some of them. Alright. Blessings of the lady be upon you. 
Um, let's just try and move a little bit. Okay, this guy is not in force march. Okay, just leave him where he is. Uh, it's just a small army. Okay. Just leave this stuff. Yeah, just leave it. Uh, we're going to sell this to Raponce as well. Where did our friend go? Where did our friend go? We've only got... Oh, three turns remaining. Ah, uh, there he is. Shit. That's not good. How much movement do you... How much movement do you have on... Okay. I don't know. Does he get extra movement? Fuck. He might be able to attack us next turn. And I'm pretty sure he's got lightning strike. He's level fucking 41, man. How the hell is he level 41? What the hell? Alright. Well, yeah, he just completely ignored these settlements. It's like, nope, I'm coming for you. Uh, which is not the worst thing in the world. Unless he can reach Nicole Bolas here. Though, okay, she's not getting replenishment anyway. Just move her... Move her as far away as possible. Ah, though, fuck, she's taking attrition now. Fuck. Though, I guess taking a little bit of attrition is better than getting lightning struck by asshole here. And Shibble... Shibble's kind of got his ass hanging in the wind, but... Um, uh, we're a little bit damaged, but we might be able we'll probably take, well, I don't know. Fuck, it's hard to say. We do have a lot of winds of magic. Oh, shit. Got a shit storm coming. It is time. Run, Ricky. For Britonia. All right. What is your best? Four cubes is already Ragnarok. Uh, Ragnarok. Uh, nighty night. Gonna go to sleep. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a night here very shortly. Uh, I'd like to get one more battle in, uh, just to give you guys a little bit of action for hanging out with me uh, quite late. But yeah, I mean, I'd be happy to play for a couple more hours. But I, I, I kind of want to start getting into a routine where I stream like for like a, a couple of hours after work and if I kind of if I do a long stream then I'm gonna burn myself out so uh, I'm kind of hoping that we can do some of these late night streams a little bit more frequently so uh, I'm gonna try and uh, try and pace myself but yeah if we could get one more battle in hopefully I get Scarbrand over here let's see uh See what he did in the end turn. Where he went. Priestess of the Lady, your behest. I will be rewarded. All right, Morn with his big booty Latina. You guys can just stay put as garrison there and send these boys north to keep an eye on Mazdamundi and just um, keep an eye on his uh, movements. And then My strength and wisdom gonna are yours. build an army over here at some point. But for now, uh oh, there he is! I was gonna say, you fucking chicken shit. He's here. He's here. All right. All right. Here we fucking go. All right, you go into in camp. Yes. Very well. Only. I think I'm kind of a little bit. What is your behest? Will he stand and fight? That's the question. My lady will not allow it. Is he gonna run from Robo. us? Run, baby, run. Blessings of the lady be upon you. 
<laughs> Alright, I guess it doesn't really matter which army you're in, just as long as you're in one of them. Alright, here we go, boys. What does this fucking guy put himself into? Encampment stance as well. Kind of annoying. So he is going to fight it. Oh my goodness, we could just um, auto resolve this. Um, but we'll fight it. Since we've got a lot of troopers here. Though, shit, maybe I should have attacked with. Uh, I should have attacked with the artillery army, maybe. I mean, maybe not. At least this way we get the cav on the field right away, just. And then we can set up the uh, the artillery and make sure it gets protected. But yeah, we'll cap it with this fight here. But yeah, it's too bad a Chaos Lord isn't part of the, um, the vows. Don't know if I want the artillery coming in there. Um, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna leave the hippos to protect the artillery along with um, Some of these guys. Alright. Right. Try to draw them over to this side. And then you guys can protect the those troops as they come on the field. You can catch up. I'm gonna end up with too many groups. Gonna be careful with you. Alright, let's come around this way. And see if we can pick off some of these guys. Actually, I might send you over there as well. We get shot up by some nonsense. Just trying to square up uh, with us here. I'm kind of hoping that I could maybe pick off some of those units, but I think, um, I think what we'll do is we'll just um, get set up with the artillery and whatnot. Are they going to charge us? A little bit dangerous having our calves separated, but we do have units that can protect them. You guys come over this way. 
How much damage? A little bit of damage, nothing too serious. Alright, the units are gonna be... Get up here too. I'm just gonna group you guys all as group six. And it can be group two. Group two. Guys, just stand where I know you're at. And let's get these artillery pieces in position. Let's make sure our cavalry is okay. Alright, um... Too many groups. Too many fucking groups. Alright, yep. You guys... Be ready to support. It would have been nice to get more archers on the field, but unfortunately we can only get 40 units on the field at once. Alright. I think the AI doesn't know what to do. Um, you guys can get them. I'm up here. The Green Knight, I think we could probably... Oh, shit. What are those? Flesh Hounds of Corn. Alright, so let's back up. Is there, uh... Yeah. Coming after our cab here. It's okay. Actually, you joined them. Just send the Green Knight, just whatever. The Green Knight's gonna be going after this. Uh... After another turn or two, so if he gets wounded, it's fine. Ooh, shit. Fuck. Cav there. Alright, you guys swing around. You guys move up. Uh, though. It's fine. Actually, you come support, and you just stay back. Probably don't need both of you here. Let's back up. Uh, there's too much to manage. Too many units. Get some Knights of the Realm stuck in there. Alright, guys. Deal with them. Yeah, I want you over here. Um, those and guys, come back and support over here. Over here, and support. You need to get over here and drop a heal. Uh, does anybody need? Okay, we don't actually have any. All right, guys, crashing there. 
All right, seems to be going pretty well for the most part. Let's bring the hippos over support over here. Big fight. And just keep dropping some heals in here. Okay, yeah, uh, get rid of those chariots. We'll actually come around this way and get in behind those brutes. Ooh, shit. What do we got here? Fucking chariots. Fuck. I did not see those chariots there. Guys, hurry up and get over there. Just make sure they don't come back. Alright, looks like Daddy Warner's down. This dude Ooh shit. Definitely alright, we go give him some healing. Actually come back this way because we've got the other Alright, I think it's pretty well over. damage on them. Alright, easy game, easy life. That wasn't too bad. Though, it would have been nice to spread the damage out a little bit more, but anyway, what can you do? Let's see if we can get this bloke healed up. Shibble almost went down there. I did not, I don't know. I'm trying to get used to playing without the, uh, the health bars up, so it's you know, you gotta be careful. Not to uh, get anybody killed. Well, we should be running whoever's... Oh. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Where's the other... Oh, there she is. Ah, uh, come on. Wait three seconds. Lord of Bretonia, I am with you. Fight for honor. Close victory. We'll take it. Hmm. Still a few units that are gonna have to be mopped up, but. Any victory, anytime you get a victory over Scarbrand, it's always nice. Nobody got wiped out, and we should get a bit of replenishment, hopefully, this turn. We'll make our way to Ekrund, probably. Though, somebody's got to go down and wipe them out. Bow completed. Knight to Spartacus. Nice. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Which one's Knight to Spartacus? My reputation precedes me. Oh, Do you know who I am? Oh, it's one of these guys. Do you know who I am? Moose. Wait, of the what the fuck? Paladin de Louder. Oh, there he is, Knight to Spartacus. Should be Paladin to Spartacus. What the fuck? Paladin to Spartacus. And... Um, bum, 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 My strength and Check. wisdom are yours. What do you 
Oh, look at that. He's got his grail valve done. Pledge to untamed. Cool. Cool beans. Um. I am by if the lady wills it. He's got enough movement to get the Akrant. Blessings of the lady be upon you. He does not. How does Albrecht have so much fucking movement? What the hell? Oh, these guys are. Okay, yeah, she's got enough movement as well. Hmm. I wonder, can. It shall be so. Never. Can you. And you. Finish them off? Fuck yeah, that's perfect. All right, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then we'll play siege with this force. That way we can bombard them with the artillery. For the king. Armored in faith. Armored in faith. And then Albert can move up there. Protector Much the movement. Realm, if the lady wills it. I guess move back that way. And you might as well hop in there, I guess. Valiant Lord, Lord of Bretonia. Alright, well, I think this is where we are going to leave it. I think I put everyone to sleep. Where we're down to just a couple of concurrent viewers here. But uh, everyone, thanks so much for hanging out. Board Cube 100, Morn. Westy, it was a pleasure having you guys here. Uh, Shibble as well. Um, always uh, enjoy your company, my man. Dan, uh, Daniel Lesso, uh, thanks for uh, popping into the chat and saying hello. I appreciate it. And uh, am I missing anyone? Oh, Kevin Lorder, of course. Um, oh, and we got Zoo uh, as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Like I said, I'm going to try and um do some of these late night streams a little bit more frequently um it should work out a little bit better than um than streaming before work maybe i don't know and then all my days off will be on like um more ideal times but anyway guys uh we got a fair bit of like a little bit of work done here tonight um got some of the slog here in the uh in the mountains and and whatnot uh sort of worked out so hopefully we can we can wrap up this uh, this little crusade here soon, and um, yeah, get back out onto the the high seas. So um, yeah, happy to continue this campaign, and uh, thank you so much for watching.